Manchester history as well, we're in the eighth year now and it's, it's grown and grown. It involves a huge number of local groups, so it's very important because it brings all the communities in together, there's dialogue and, and uh, new discoveries. It, it's a really terrific time, but it's particularly important with climate change because climate change has a history and uh, by untangling the history you have an absolute clarity over what happened when and what's likely to happen in the future. I think Manchester Histories Festival is fantastically important. It acts as a form of social cohesion. It brings people together. It makes people think about their histories. It gives people autonomy and power over their own histories to try and make their own mark, to make their own voice heard. And I think Manchester Histories acts as a channel for all those sorts of things. And for that very reason, that's why I think it's so important. We were you know, expecting a critical audience because I think everybody that is present here is very concerned about the climate change and has a, you know, very thoughtful views on, on this whole issue. So I think it was very instruct, uh, instructive for us as well to, to, to be able to learn from the views from the audience. It's good to hear other points of view. And I think out of that more kind of productive side of things, I think that it will just make me more open to working with a diverse set of people because there's so much value in taking in different opinions. Festivals like this bring a very wide range of people to them who are just interested in the world and interested in asking questions. And for me, it's always wonderful to address an audience like this. Festivals like Manchester History Festival are really important, it's really great, there's a lot going on here, it seems to be like a really nice way for, you know, you need to have these events for people to talk and for us it gives us a chance to talk to other people as well who are here and connect with people, so they're really vital. We've been having some really wonderful conversations with the people at the Histories Festival and it's, it's really nice to be having those sort of more in-depth conversations again with people. It's great to have an accessible free festival that can people can think about, listen to talk, see some great food and try some great food as well. There's a fantastic programme, music, there's stalls, there's loads going on for children. It brings history to life and brings people together. I think it's really heartwarming to see really committees coming together, being interested in their own history and looking into ways in which they can contribute. I think there's a lot of variety within the festival, so there's something for everyone. Some are very rooted in history, others are more about um, contemporary action. Some lovely people inside, very enthusiastic. It's a great day, it's great for families and uh, just people walking by and popping in. Having young people who actually live around here like take part in it, I think it just creates a nice atmosphere and um, a nice kind of community feel. Manchester always has an amazing amount of opportunities to share and celebrate together. That's its history and it's really, really wonderful that it's happening and uh, that history is alive. I'm a great believer that until you start to understand the past, you don't really shape the future. So it gives you a great opportunity to showcase history really. It's great to see that this is an extraordinary tradition which is still going strong and it needs people to get behind it, attend these events and be amazing and be inspired and change the world. Free planet! Oh!